muscle.
some of those answers for that as well. All right, and and uh, I'm going to sort of piggyback on on the SAU uh, withdrawal uh, discussion a little bit there. Um, I met with Carrie uh, Carrie Tice, who is the chair of the Marshwood School Board, uh, last week. I think it was last week. I'm telling you, time is just flying by. Um, she reached out because she wanted to make sure that we all knew that Marshwood is willing to it, it, it is there to support us as we go through this process. They don't know exactly what it is either. I explained a little bit of it to her how that's going to go, and she said they are, they are there to support us and that they want them to know uh, that um, that that will. Then, and I said what I said was the board doesn't make any decisions going forward. It will be a public committee community committee who makes that those decisions with board members sitting on that committee, um, but that we very much appreciated their offer and that we will be um, taking all of that, keeping all of that in mind as we go forward. And I also have had um, at least one member of the public say that they're very concerned about all the stuff they were reading in the paper and, and what, what does it mean about this withdrawal. And so I, I was able to, so I'm just going to very quickly reiterate what I told that, that citizen, and that was that we still have to make a decision as to whether or not we're going to do our own withdrawal. We'll decide that this evening. And if we decide to do it, we will have a warrant article that will go to be voted on by the public in March, saying that we will create our own withdrawal committee. We will come up with our own plan of how we're going to manage things after the withdrawal. Um, that plan would then be approved by the uh, State Board of Education and then also go in front of the voters. Again, so a year from March would be. So previously you had said we would vote. There was a, an added step right there. Is a, a vote to create a committee that would explore whether we should? No, 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 no. We decide whether or so not. So we decide. What, we no if, longer if, have that committee. It, no, no. If, if indeed the warrant article passes that says we want to explore, then the, then the committee, then, then we form explore. the committee, and the, and the it is not a committee to figure out the withdrawal. It is the committee I'm to I'm figure sorry. out whether. No. <laughs> That's no, you're right. No, you're, you're right. The, the warrant article will say that we we are moving forward with withdrawal, and we will now then now create a committee that will then come up with a plan. Plan for withdrawal. Yes, got it. So Thank I'm, you. Sorry, just, just make that sure that. Yeah, and then yeah. what? what Really, what you're what you're deciding on tonight is to put a if you're going to put a warrant article out there. If the warrant article passes, then that will create the committee, the withdrawal committee, and then the withdrawal committee will do all of the background, all of the all of the options, and then they that that uh, plan will go to the state board. If the state board says yes, this is feasible, uh, then it comes back onto another warrant next year and then the town will decide whether that's appropriate or not. I guess I still thought that the committee was exploring what is the best option for volunteers. Yes, and whether that, that be to withdraw yes. or to not withdraw. Well, it, yes, but keeping in mind that Summersworth is also has already gone forward with their plan to withdraw. So regardless, we need a plan of how we're going to go forward without... See, so this is like a moving forward committee, not yes. necessarily a withdrawal Yes, this committee. is a moving forward committee. We, <laughs> we, may still, we may still be SAU 56. Right. So you're That's a, a possibility. You're in a bit of a... This is a, a bit of a unique situation because uh, the majority, almost all the time, when, when a district is pulling out, it's a district that's deciding to go out on their own uh, and the other entity stays the way it is. In this particular case, you, you've already got Summersworth moving forward, so, and, and I touched base with Barrett at the School Board Association, you could do nothing, uh, which means that you would have to rely on what Summersworth cho Summersworth's choice is, For and us. then you the state board would have to decide in their report, in Summersworth's report, if that adequately took care of Rollins, Rollinsford or not. So in talking with Derek Christina, uh, and I agree, uh, I, 
think it's in your best interest to go through the process. That way you're doing your studies looking at your best interest and presenting your plan. And you've got two things happening at once. And it may come that Summersworth pulls out and you stay with the SAU and reconfigure. It may come after all of this is in motion that Rollinsford pulls out and Summersworth stays in SAU 56 and reconfigures. So, um, but it, I think, and, and Barrett said the same thing, it's in, I think it's in your best interest to put the Warren article out there, see if the community wants to form the um, withdrawal committee, the exploration committee, um, and then what that will do is it will explore all of your options. Is that clear? Because in, in, in our in our options, we also have to have a plan of what happens with Summersworth. Summersworth also has to have a plan of what happens with Rollinsford. And and so uh, unless we choose to withdraw, we will we we will be doing what Summersworth decides for us. Why is we won't that? Have our own the reason the okay. reason you have to do that is because when the state board of education looks at it, they're going to make sure that both districts are taken care of. That, that's that's why you need to do. They need to do a piece for you in, in the study for you, and you need to do a piece in the study about, about that. So if we did nothing, so we did nothing at all. Yep. Summersworth still has to look out for how it affects us. So if it's if it's negative, if it negatively impacts us, will they allow us to go forward? Uh, uh, perhaps. Well, depends on on who's who's defining negative. Yeah. <laughs> Because if they put us at any type of disadvantage, for the outcome of pulling out of the SAU, based on what you're saying. No, I don't, I don't think they're going to look at it as if they put you in a disadvantage. I think it's going to, they're going to look at it as, is it feasible? Yeah. The, 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 does, it, does it do enough? I mean, and, and, and I think we're getting a little far afield here, but. And that's what the, that's yeah. what the withdrawal committees are charged with is coming up to. What are, what are the feasible options? And it, and, it gives a, and it does give us an opportunity to perhaps work with the Summersworth Committee as well to make sure that you know, if we're both doing it, maybe we can overlap a little bit so we don't have to come up with our own plan for Summersworth. We can use Summersworth plan. And, you know, who knows? There might be opportunity to... to well, let, this let was their, but this was their decision. Yes. Yes, we are. Yes. Let, let, let's play this out. I'll just give you one scenario. Uh, let's say that you don't you don't uh, form a committee. Either you decide not to put a warrant on the line or it fails. At that point in time, Summersworth is going through their piece of this, uh, and they uh, most likely will withdraw from SAU 56, which means Rollinsford is standing pat. You have SAU 56, so your only option at that point is to restructure. You still, you still have SAU 56. So that that's, you, know, you would need to restructure that entity. Okay. And would Summer have to go forward plan as to how we could do that to make it feasible? What's the, what's the um, extent to which they're required to go? Well, they, they would they would have to, if they pulled out, they, they would have to come up with some kind of a plan as to... Um, to show that it's feasible for so once we're to keep that going. Which it will be. I mean, you would need services of a superintendent, services of a business administrator, and services of, of a special ed person. So it might be one day a week, two days a week. Whatever, whatever it comes out to. So, you know, there, there are ways that you could restructure that piece. Is it best? I, I don't know. <laughs> and without a building. Not so for us to determine. Okay. It, no, it, it's not for the board to determine. It will, there will be two board members sitting on the committee. That, that The makeup of the committee is prescribed by the RSA. So, so and we will talk about that later, but I think. <laughs> We did. We did. Uh, sorry. Is that further down? It yes, is. it is. I'm sorry. It and is. I jumped in on that. I apologize for that. So we've had, we've had a good start on that discussion. <laughs> that we'll get to. Uh, any other announcements? That's all right. <laughs> Thank you. Um, principal's update. So I have to apologize. I sent you a most 
mostly updated principles of work, um, but one of the sections um, did not say correctly. So when I talked about the student led conferences, it was like they hadn't happened yet. Um, so what I meant to say was they were very well attended, um, and uh, parents were very receptive to how students presented the information at those conferences. Um, we had some different unique ways of doing it based on grade levels. Um, some students had binders that they went in and had selected different pieces to share with their parents. Um, the third and fourth grade classes I know had a um, technology presentation on the smart boards. Um, they had created um, something for parents to <coughs> view as they were talking about their learning. So it was unique. I got to sit in on one or two myself with parents' permission and students' permission. Um, so I, I thought overall they went very well. Um, and as always, you know, telling parents that if they had a need for an individual parent conference, then they're always welcome to reach out to teachers. Um, the only other thing I want to focus on is the community connections we've made over the past month or so. Um, last week we had Liberty Mutual in to help sponsor an hour of code. Um, they've done this for a couple of years and they brought a team of nine or ten volunteers, a couple of RGS graduates were on that team who are employees at Liberty Mutual, so they were excited to come back and give back to their community. Um, they um, went into each of the classrooms. They had designated some programs for students to um, go through um, different um, programs to solve problems. I, I call them problem solving, but they're you know on a computer screen. Um, and as they solved each problem, they got to go a little bit further in the program, and if they completed all of the problems, then um, they were awarded a certificate of completion for their hour of code. Um, the teachers loved having them here. They wanted them to come back. Um, it helps kids become more technologically, um, not advanced, but savvy. Um, in a good way, so that they understand processes for solving problems using technology. So it was, it was a good day. That's nice. Um, yesterday, we took the whole school to the Rochester Opera House for the production of... That, 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 that That's a whole week long. Long, long week so far. <laughs> um, one of our own was in the production, a uh, young third grade girl performed, and we were able to watch her perform. One of our staff members' daughters was actually in the production as well, so uh, we had some connections to people who actually performed. Um, and that was sponsored by the Summersworth Women's Club. There was a little bit of confusion. Um, somewhere we got mentioned that it was the Rollinsworth Women's Club, but it was actually the Summersworth Women's Club that sponsored that event. And then next week, the Police Benevolence Association is doing their annual sponsorship. Um, it's been tradition that our kids go to a movie the day before. Um, December break, um, so we're going over to Wells, flagship cinema, cinemas, and they've been given the options of Mary Poppins and Spider-Man, uh, which is overwhelmingly the most popular. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise. Uh, but there are some kids going to Mary Poppins, and um, they're excited. Something to look forward to last week of school. And we are no longer fully staffed. Um, oh. We had a resignation come to my desk today, so we have a mainstream coach position that's open in first and second grade. Um, so we'll bring forward something at the next meeting regarding our resignation. Thank you. Any questions on the principals? Uh, Nick Garvey cannot be with us this evening, but. Fortunately, apparently they're not overlapping. They're, 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 I don't know if they've worked this out yet. Megan is here to give us the, uh, the, the, the uh, Marshall and student update. So, Megan, the floor is yours. Um, okay. um, so far for academics, uh, Marshall is halfway through their second quarter. Um, and then a couple weeks after we get back from uh, winter break vacation on January 2nd, I think it is, um, a couple weeks after that, we start our midterm exams. So um, if anybody has uh, children or, fr or friends of children or whatever like that that wants to schedule, I can only bring the midterm schedule. It's closed campus, if that is relevant to anything. 
for parents especially, so you can't pick kids up and bring them out in between exams and they have to show up no matter what, even if they don't have exams that day? That's interesting. Some of the parents are nodding here. So. <laughs> um, sports. I uh, wasn't sure. I sent a document to Nick last, for the last week. I don't know if he shared anything with it, but Marshall has won from third year in a row for the Class B state championships for football. We beat, uh, I believe it was, it, I can't remember, but we beat, yes, yes, <laughs> but it was, it was almost a blowout, so we, we did pretty good. Um, now we have uh, basketball, both boys and girls. We have hockey, and the boys hockey team is with Noble and Trape, I believe, like a combination that we don't have kids. Mm -hmm. And the girls, I believe, is with Trape and York. So we have both of those starting up. We have ski team, indoor track, and wrestling. The seasons are just kicking off. I know your daughter is on, yes, Miss Anderson's daughter is varsity basketball for girls. Congratulations. Um, um, also, the ankle um, <laughs> We'll get the injury report. We <laughs> 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 actually did that. There's actually been uh, another injury. Um, uh, an RGS uh, student, uh, Jared Tomlin, has blown out his shoulder. He's oh, out for four weeks, but he should be able to make it for the end of his <laughs> senior year of hockey. Oh. So, fingers crossed. And Mike Pelletier is also on the wrestling team, and he is like, he's one of like the top guns for this year. Um, other updates, um, Marshall had its 2018-2019 um, National Honor Society induction mm -hmm. um, last night, and two more of Rollinson members, Elise Hassett and Amy Martinez, were inducted. So, yay! That's great. Um, this is um, kind of a last minute, I didn't know if this was relevant, but we have a new Rollinsford student member at Marshall High School. He lived in Elliott and now he's in Rollinsford. His name is Jay Lyman. He goes right down the road for me. Um, good, to, good to know these things. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a Marshall choral concert, I believe it was actually tonight at 7. And um, just a couple of thoughts that I had maybe. Hmm. I noticed we've had, like, um, Marshall has a Hawk Buddy program which is like, it's a volunteer thing that kids can do to get community service because you are required to have a certain amount of hours before you graduate. And so what it is, is basically once a week, kids go to either Central School or Elliott Elementary or Great Works or whatever, like whichever is closest. Mm -hmm. And they spend about 30 minutes of their time just like mentoring kids that need like a little bit of extra help at, like during the day and whatever. I did it and I thought it was really fun. But something I thought maybe even more kids discuss with Marshall if they want to integrate more how long should be that. That'd be great. It's an excellent <laughs> suggestion, Megan. <laughs> and, and I believe it's the principal is writing it. Yeah. 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 That's that's excellent. And that's just because yeah. a lot more involved for kids are getting into the Marshall school system now. Which is also yeah. good, but, yeah. but why not have uh, yeah. Yeah. Or have it as an option? Definitely. And then a thing that I'm working on because I'm a senior, I don't know if Nick mentioned it, but I'm going to try to keep track of all the Rollinsford seniors that have been, like, their college acceptances and where they decide to go. So we can kind of, you guys can kind of see full circle the school district, kind of getting their kids all the way up through where they're going. It's a great idea. Um, let's see. I have a few. So Addie Hendricks has been accepted to two schools, Husson and Keene State. Elise Hassett has been accepted to UNH. Uh, Lauren Franchosi has been accepted to Franklin Pierce University in Salem State. Um, Irene Manessa has been accepted to Grant State University, Husson, and I've been accepted to uh, the Nova Scotia. Well. <laughs> <laughs> she just not mentioned that. So. <laughs> <laughs> but that's all I have so far. But I talked to the principal at Marshall, and hopefully I'm going to meet with the head of guidance and see if I can work something out with that so that like, I can get notifications when they send in something that they've been accepted. And we can just let you guys know on the success of Rollins with students. That's fantastic. That's a wonderful idea. So does the school let them know, or are you supposed to let the school know? Um, is the college accepted send something oh, to the high school? They, the colleges send something to us, and the guidance is very, please, please, please let us know when you get accepted. So they, first of all, for congratulations, and second, to like, 
for future college applicants to like, track and see how many Marshall students have gone in where and for what. So they're supposed to let the guidance know. So I'm hoping that like when one of the Rollins for names pops up, they're like, it's email and tell them that they want to send it. Okay. And that's pretty much all I have. But yeah, if there's any questions on the it was very good, and, and I, and I think the rest of the board and everyone else, very, and, and I think people sitting here very much appreciate your focus on, on the Rollins for Students so that we can hear how they're doing. That's very helpful to hear. Thank you. So great, and, and good ideas. Can I ask her a couple of quick yes, questions yes, yes, while she's here? Yes. Do you yeah. know who the um, staff contact would be for the Hawk Money program? Um, Allison Wilkie, she's the guidance person. Okay. And is it all four grade levels, or? It usually, I mean, it depends, but what, it's normally around like second to fourth grade is what it can be, but like if there's kids that like, would like qualify for the Hawk Buddy thing, they can like, they can be in all different grades. Like I, like one of my friends had a kindergartner, but I had a third grader, and it was just like, it was fun. It was like, they would, they would pull, the, we'd pull them out of class, and be like, it's time for Hawk Buddies, and we'd go down, and if they needed help with homework, them. If they needed to just blow off steam, we'd take them to the gym or take them outside. We'd go in like a separate room they had for hawk buddies and like play games and draw and everything. It, it, so it, is it, is it um, a, a, a starting, does it start freshman year and, and go through seniors? Or? Juniors and seniors. Juniors and seniors. I'm only going to go out and do it because it's yeah. right after school so we have to oh. be able to drive. But so it would be nice. at the end of, of the school day here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's nice, yeah. Because we I mean, was only like 30 to 40 minutes yeah. for there, but we would drive there and then right as school was ending, we'd bring them back up so they could go get yeah. right back. Mm -hmm. so, I have a terrible question. No, that's good, thank you. That's a great program, and thank you for <laughs> yeah. it. Really it's, it's, sure. it's already started this year, but maybe if, um, if you can get in contact with her, maybe you can see if there's a couple of other students that maybe wanted to switch it, switch like halfway through the year or maybe just for next year or whatever. But yeah. Megan, thank you very much. You are, of course, invited to stay, but we will not keep you because we know it's a busy time of year for everybody. So, I, I, oh, I did have a question. I, I, Marshall doesn't have a hockey rink, do they? Do they have a hockey rink? No. Is that why they do the they, oh, they use the door. Right? They practice uh, in the morning from high school. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So the hockey boys are looking pretty tiny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I bet they are. All right. Thank you for that. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm so tired. I went to bed at like 8 30 last night. I'm just saying, that's <laughs> <laughs> that, that sounds so sincere. <laughs> Uh, yes, it's about enrollment here at Rollinsford in high school. <laughs> and uh, well, please, if you're interested, otherwise we can resist. Please, no, we'll resist. Because if you have any questions, bring them up next at the next meeting. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you. So, so you are welcome to stay, but you are also um, okay. It's okay for you to leave and okay. get on with your the rest of your evening. Thank you, Megan. That was very helpful. Thank you. Sorry, I'm going to have to do this. It's nice to see you, and it's nice that uh, at least one of you is able to make it. That's, that's, that's why it's nice to have two. Yes. So, thank you very much. You're welcome. And you need yeah, to have a difference. We'll move on to the financial updates. Uh, this, so, we'll look at the current year's budget. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's included in your packet. There really wasn't much change from the last time. The transfer has been made, though, from the set present into the building uh, for 75000 So that happens. Also, I did look into the audit charges. We talked about that last yes. time. What it is is every two years is a um, reporting requirement for our audit. Um, and so we have to pay for that service, and it's a two-year service. So every two years, that's why you're seeing the so, increase. So, there is so a, for next year, I left it at the 13 because we'll be paying for that again. So okay. it's an, a two-year report. I noticed that you left it in yeah. the coming year. Yeah. Too, so yep. Good, yeah. thank you. So that's, that's really all I have. Any questions for Katie on the, um, on the budget? On this year's budget? Nope. Okay. Then, uh, then, the, then the next one is uh, the coming coming budget that, uh, that was presented last night to the budget committee did the presentation. I guess at this point, uh, is, there, is there any um, questions or feedback on either the presentation last night or, or um, on the budget itself? Anything you'd like to see adjusted? 
presentation was awesome. Thank yeah. you guys so much. It was great job. I think Thank you. The budget committee really appreciated the amount of work and time put into it. It was very clear. Um, it was exceptional. I just want to say, as the budget ex officio, thank you. <laughs> for presenting. Thank you for your work. And I guess we'll know more once we get through negotiations. Uh, yeah. Right. It's, right. Right, but I, I, I didn't uh, see any adjustments that needed to be made. I mean, this was the budget we wanted to bring forward and uh, brought forward. Okay, so, uh, it, this, so we're done with that, right? <laughs> yeah, the, the only other piece is the Warren article. And you'll yeah, I was going to do it. Yeah, I was going to do that on yeah. yeah. a but. Yep. Uh, All right, so then the next uh, is new business, and it's the first reading of a number of policies of, that we had. Did people get a chance to sort of look through those? Yes. So and it, this is the first reading. We are not taking action on them, but is there any discussion on any of them? There were a number um, that... Uh, the, the non-educational questionnaire surveys and research. Um, the non I think there were apparently there were two of those. Yes, there were two of those. So I'm hoping that, uh, that uh, those of you who have been involved with doing surveys and whatnot have read those. We'll, we'll have a chance to read those too closely. If you and I really chance. just understood it. We, we always go through the superintendent. I mean, the board approves it, and we've always gone through the superintendent. So for, that really is for our head. for our survey. Yeah. yeah. So anything that Liz put out. I mean, I, that's kind of what I got from that, that it yeah. really needs to go through. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. And as far as the policies go, uh, Lori Lane's been working through the policies, and if this format works for you, uh, what we'll do is just put, um, you know, three to four policies in per meeting. Um, we'll cycle them through from first reading to second reading and keep the, keep the flow going so we can update them as we go. Does that work? Because there are quite a few. And the ones on the home homeschooling ones, like um, basically the same as stated, or I'm trying to find the right word. What was the right word? But I would need to read. about uh, establishing a time to do the recitation of the pledge every day. Um, part participation will be voluntary is the second sentence. And the last sentence says, says that pupils who do not participate in this recitation may sit or stand as they choose, but shall respect the rights of those pupils electing to participate. And um, I'd be interested in hearing what the board, what the, if the board would um, think, uh, I would like to see pupils who do not participate in the recitation um, shall respect what the other people are doing. I mean, saying that they must sit or stand, I think, is perhaps uh, a 
I would just strike the must leave that out. I would just strike the, the, the um, seems like a weird thing to say in general. Ma mace it or stand. Yeah. It's like, what are they going to lay down? Only sit or stand. Yeah, I mean, that's, it's, it, it, as, long, as long as they're being respectful, I, you know. Agreed. No, I, I just don't, I, I don't like to constrain anyone that we have to. Just to get the edit correct, pupils who do not participate in the recitation shall, in the recitation shall, shall respect, respect right. the race. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Back in my day, if you didn't <laughs> say the pledge, you had to still stand. And I feel like this is just saying you don't have to stand, you may sit, but I, I see where it could be. And I see that too. And and children are different. You know, it's a, it's a voluntary activity, and the recitation of the pledge is a voluntary activity, and it neither neither construes that you're a patriot or construes that you're not a patriot. It's, it's yes, a, it's a it's a unison reading of something. Anyway, that's anyway. So I think that's just I get picky about some of these things. Can you tell? That's a bit wild. Yeah. I mean, my first reaction was a oh, little fine, but now that you say that, now as I think about it more, I'm thinking, right. well, if I don't know, how are the kids that are going to stand now going to feel if more kids decide, well, they're just going to sit, and then pretty much after a while, kids, I don't know, I'm just but, not sure how it's going to That's but, a teachable moment. Uh, yeah, class. exactly right. That's the teachable moment of, of why do we do this, why is it important, do we all have to do it at this time, do we have to do it every day? Those are teachable moments. Yeah. I was going to ask that we strike the first sentence that it must be done every day, but I thought that might be going a little too far. <laughs> Is it currently done every day? Uh, yeah, it's not done school-wide. It's left up to the individual classroom teachers, um, but I don't believe it's happening every day in every class. I am willing to strike that sentence that it must be done every day, as long as as long as there are discussions and, and that people know learn, learn the pledge. Yeah, I'm willing to strike that sentence as well. Do you want to give us some thought? We're not acting on it tonight, yeah. so, we, no, so this is just a. Is this like if if, if it's under it's under the page? The teacher were not to would they be able? To some disciplinary action tied to that because it's a policy? If, well, that, if that, it's a policy and that, it says it's to be done daily and teachers have been told that this needs to be done daily because it's a policy and then it doesn't happen, then yeah, there, there could be disciplinary action. And these are our policies that we have to believe in so that we're enforcing them. So, so I, 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 did, I did make a note that I would also strike the first sentence of it has to be done every day. So I'm throwing that out for thought, and we can discuss it again um, at our next meeting. Let's think about it. Okay. <laughs> so I'll make that one edit. Well, again, we haven't taken action on it, but, uh, but that's that's how at the moment, yes. Right. What what I'll do is, oh. is we'll do a strike through there, and you okay. can still see it, and then you can have the final okay. discussion. Not in the first sentence, on the Right. <laughs> we'll still have the discussion. <laughs> All right, any other discussion on any of the uh, policies? Are, will, they, they will be actionable next at our next meeting. Oh, the other thing I wanted to bring up is um, we don't have a drone policy, and I'm not sure that the School Boards Association has come up with a drone policy. And the reason I'm bringing this up is that a lot of people have drones now. And if one should fly over and be looking in classroom windows, or be doing things or out on the playground. Do we want to have a policy where we can at least enforce it? I'm bringing this up because my sister-in-law was out in her uh, backyard doing something and a drone hovered over her for 20 minutes and then went away and then came back and she realized later that maybe it was the people doing construction down the street, which it was. They, they, had, they, had, they had contacted someone to take pictures from all ang angles to see who was going to be upset in the neighborhood. But she thought, she felt very violated <laughs> to have it, even though it wasn't taking a picture of her, so they said. There are many states that have drone privacy laws mm -hmm. where um, drones are 
airlines are prohibited from flying over um, private land without the consent of the owner of the land. I'm not sure what state she was in or what the laws are, but um, that's private property. This is not private property. So we as a board so could ask Bob to check, let's see if the yeah, check with the school board association and see if they have a strong well, policy. There might be a state law. I mean, oh, yeah, New Hampshire would have put that constitutional amendment yeah, in place for personal privacy. I'm not sure whether they passed a non privacy law, um, but there may be a municipal non privacy law also for public sector and, and or private sector. I don't know. I'll mention it to the school board association if, yeah. if they so, don't have one, I'm sure that they can look into it and find out. Well, and then the, the question becomes if the child is the owner of that. Uh, Upset and do, do we allow them to use it while they're on school property? I mean, that kind of thing? Well, th again, that should be addressed, right? Hmm. Hmm. Who would have thought? I know, who would have thought? He's a drone at home. Oh, God. Eight years. Never once have been talking about Trump. It's a big problem in more populated it's, regions. Yeah, that's that's how that's you. removal, hmm. fire alarms, okay. doors. Anyway, everyone's okay with Bob finding out if, if they've yes. thought about it. Okay. I think you probably some big, bigger cities must have to yeah. such a policy. Or a good question. You should have a motion to move all of those forward to the second reading. I make a motion to move all of those forward second. for a vote next time. Second reading. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Those will be moved forward and we'll get an update on the drone. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, so the old business. We've already started this discussion, thanks to me, earlier in the, in the evening, uh, is um, the uh, SAU 56 withdrawal. So, um, Bob did a great job clarifying what I was trying to say. Uh, so I think we're all up to date now on, on sort of what can and will happen. And so, one of the things we do have to decide is whether or not we want to place a warrant. Um, I strongly recommend that we do place the warrant so that we are coming up as a community with our own plan. I agree. We don't need anybody's approval. No, we will be placing the warrant. It, it's, it's not a money warrant. What do you mean by approval? Well, because it could be a money warrant. Um, it could have a financial impact. But that not that we need anybody's approval. But I'm just saying. Well, no, no. Well, we won't know that until until the committee is formed. So, right. so th this is know. this is just to go forward to right. just study withdrawal. You know, what are our options? What are we going to do? Okay. Form committee. Study. All right. Thank you. That's all. After which the plan will be another one too. It should be. And I'll find out the appropriate wording for the word if you yeah, choose to do that. I think you did it one of his. I'll I'll find it. Can I just? clarify the process. So once the committee um, determines what uh, they think the best plan is, they then bring that plan to us, and then we present, we do a warrant article? How does that work? No, the committee, the committee, once the committee is formed, the committee takes over. So yeah. the committee will uh, do the plan and bring forward the best option. Uh, that goes to the state board. If the state board approves it, then at that point it goes on a warrant. Who submits the warrant? The school board. Because I, I believe the school board, because it's the school district that will be bringing it forward. It was much like, I believe, it was much like our our, 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 our withdrawal from the area agreements. What if they don't like that plan? Do we have to? Like, well, don't, for, don't forget, we're going to have two, two board members who are going to be sitting on the committee. Yeah, I'm just saying. I mean, if it is, if it's our warrant article, I mean, are we, are we, we're putting our names on. I think those are excellent right? questions to ask. As if, if indeed that should happen. Yeah. I mean, I, or I believe it's the committee. As soon as the, the committee, it, as soon as the committee comes up with a plan, I believe it's the committee that. I mean, that's one of the questions that I asked Bear. I believe it's the committee that takes over. Mm -hmm. And can they, they present the warrant article? I. I, I don't think that, well, I suppose they could, uh, but I, I, as a petition warrant article, otherwise they're placed by, by the town. Hmm? But then they'd be 25. Well, remember, remember there was a withdrawal from um, the area agreement committee. Mm -hmm. And some of you may remember that there are a number of wrongs for
100 folks on there who were who were going to vote not to withdraw until they had the public hearing, which will have to be held. And their mind was changed at the public hearing, and they stated that when they voted that night. Had, had, had they not had the public hearing and had such overwhelming input from the public, we would still be in the area of agreement. So, but this is, that didn't then go on a warrant. Or it did. Oh, it definitely did. That, then a plan had to happen, and it definitely went on a warrant. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. The plan went on the warrant article. Got it. Okay, yep. forget it. I'm yep. sorry. So, so are, you, are, you, are you sort of following the, the, parallel, yes. the parallel universe here? Yeah. 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 In, in, in posing that question to Barrett, he said, he said, if the state board, state school board, approves the withdrawal plan as submitted by the committee, it notifies the respective districts. If the state board accepts the withdrawal plan, the plan shall be submitted to the legislative body, which is which goes on a warrant article. And then it gets voted on if three fifths of the votes cast. It's going to be three fifths of the vote. Yeah, it's a very so it's not dependent upon the approval of the school board. No. But someone's got to put a warrant on the board. job to um, to seat the committee to so so that's
We're going to have a busy uh, January, at least the first, <laughs> the first week. So January 5th is the, is the Budget Committee's public hearing on the budget. Um, apparently some people will be quite busy over the, over the holidays getting all that ready. Um, and Bob, is it your intention to uh, more or less do it the same way, or will this be more of a um, PowerPoint, PowerPoint presentation? Well, I, I guess my question is, uh, how has it been done in the past? Because the, 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 uh, I've seen it done a lot of different ways by budget committees. Some budget committees do it all themselves. Sometimes the board does it. I, I, I need a little history here. Yeah, the, the budget committee has historically not presented the actual budget. It's, okay. been, it's, been, it's been the school uh, folks doing it. And, and in the last, till, for the last four or five years, it has been done by PowerPoint. Okay. We can do that. But, but I'm, I'm going to sort of defer to Emily here to see what she, how she would like to ask them. Uh, You've heard any feedback from the budget committee on how? No, I think, um, I mean, clearly they were very happy with the way you presented the budget last night. Uh, I think if you could kind of, um, Distill some of the more important things from sure. that. You know, charts are always nice. Sure. Projections are good. Um, yeah, we can put together a PowerPoint. I don't, I don't mind presenting that this time. Yeah. Uh, and people uh, will we'll, we'll expect to have a copy of the budget. Um, yeah. Ours are the same ones yeah. that we've done. Exactly. Exactly. Um, yeah. We have we'll a with the memo to the, the highlights of the beginning. Yes, yeah, so and, and, and we should have, and we should probably be on the website. Yep. Um, yeah, a number of months ahead of time. And, yeah, a number of months. Excuse me. We don't have a number. I'll of get it up there next week. I'll before you leave on vacation, I'll do that next week. Yeah. 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 Do we have a guess on the numbers they usually attend? Fifty. No, not at not at the public hearing. Not at the public hearing. We, we have we have not gotten huge numbers at the public. hearing. So how many copies would you like? Fifty. Do you think it's too many? We can reuse them if not, if not a lot. Yeah, if not a lot changes, we can reuse them. Yeah. Well, that's up to the budget. And the information is going to be off the screen. People want to get into the weeds. So you want to do like thirty? Yeah. I think forty. Cut it. Forty halfway. So you're going to, so, so Tom's saying 40, and um, if we get it on the website and sent I'll send to, it to the town, to, so to town and, and, to, and to Tia, who will post yep. it on the town website. Yep. Okay. okay. And then we could, we, and we could, yeah, we could have a few copies at the library as well. I can drop some off, you know, we can do that. That would that work out okay, have a few copies available at the town hall and the library. Sure. Get some money for the revenue. Revenue. <laughs> 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 the school revenue. <laughs> that would be great. Okay. That would be great. Because that is the for Saturday. Yeah, right. We get back. Yeah. I'll just tell my son there will be no Christmas this <laughs>
We really should publicize that too because it's a change from what we normally do because it's normally a Saturday and it's not this year. It's oh yeah, it's a weeknight. So yeah, the fifth. Yes, we we might want to get that out there so people know that it's at night and not a Saturday because yeah. that's usually what they're expecting. Yeah, yeah. maybe a quick little write up that we can get it up on the town website and post it. Yes, there's some more dates. They should just email us. Yeah, start now. Yeah. Email well, that sure. Yeah. Yeah. And then get them up to Tia and to yeah, I yeah. can also oh, send sure. you the schedule that we have in here, a PDF, and that way you can attach it to things too, because that has all the dates on it when things are due and when meetings are. That's in your what, you know. The one thing that's not on there is when people get to sign up for. Uh, I can add I that. think that's not on there. If you could add that, yeah. that would be helpful. I keep wondering when the. Those periods are. You mean to get on the ballot? Yeah. For town yeah. position. Yes. Oh, because it, it's the same sign up. All right. And then our snow date, and then, you know, oh, our, val our Valentine's Day uh, board oh, meeting in February. Bring your love one. Yeah, bring your love one. No Valentine's Day. All these uh, all the way out. So, thank you. Any other uh, dates that anyone wants to? All right, I think we're good. Um, school <laughs> events again, they were nicely listed out in the uh, principal's report. Yeah. So, listed out the school events, and that's uh, very nice. All right. Is that something you want me to take off the agenda and just have on Richard's principal's report? Uh, you don't have school events. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. You do. We have, we have a thing called school events. <laughs> yeah, it's just... yeah, what do people think about that? I mean, it's kind of big. The, the only difference is, is that if indeed any are listed here, the public does see this agenda and they don't see Rich's. Um, so it might be a good idea to take Rich's events and actually plug them in here. Okay. So the, the public does see the agenda in this post. All right. I'll ask Alice to but do they, that then. We'll but they that. don't see yeah, Rich's. So that would be great because it, it is nice to see them listed out. Yeah, very nice. All right, closing remarks by visitors. Tracy Bowling. Um, I just, you did such a good job talking about the draw um, possibilities and the, the head nods and all that. So, warrant article this year, and then if it passes, then it would be warrant article a year later. And then we would be doing more, depending on what was going. So we're talking a year, a year out plus before withdrawing and anything like that. I'm just trying to understand the timetable. So we're talking a year or two, a year and a half, to a year and a half it, to two years. Well, there's a possibility that it would be effective July 1st of. Let me do my years right here. 20, July 1st of 20. Okay, so 19 would be our March, this one coming up. We're in 18, 19, next year's 19, 20, so at the end of next year, July 1st. Yeah, okay. At yep. uh, the end of uh, the school year? Yes. Okay, so we're talking a year and a half. Yes. Yes. Okay. Just trying to understand what, because there is a lot of talk on the town trying to figure out if something were to happen, how long we're talking, and what, and that kind of stuff. So I just wanted to kind of wrap my head around it. It's not this year. It would be right. Next it's a year and a half right. out, but let's let's be clear. Something is going to happen. I understand that. And if the warrant article failed, what do we do then? The, if this coming one yes, fails, this, this March, then, 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 then Summersworth will decide. Will, will will have a plan for us. Huh? So that we wouldn't form a committee. If so, That's if this correct. warrant article fails, we would not. Form That's a correct. If it passes. Um, it, um, right off the committee is formed, or as soon as yes. it can be put together. Okay, so if it passes, it's in our hands. If it fails, it's in someone else's hands. It's in some sort of hands. What our SAU is maybe possible. Kind of. Yeah. Kind of. If, if it fails. Or their ideas of if what If it fails, be. then they are going through the process. And if their process works the way they 
wanted. Hope it will. Um, then they will pull out of SAU 56. So if it fails, Rollinsford has SAU 56. Right. So what that means is you would have to restructure SAU 56. There was a... But that piece, that piece would be part of the plan, their committee. Their plan. Yes. Okay. And there, um, there was talk at one point, and I saw some of the writing, that are they definitely trying to pull out of SAU 56? Because there was talk about restructuring SAU 56 with us and them. Uh, I, I think that I think that anything is a possibility. Okay, because that, uh, that was something that was mentioned. Yeah, I also. think anything is a possibility, and, and it's really up to the two withdrawal committees okay. to figure that out. Okay, because I know that that there's a lot of different possibilities. I understand. I just this yeah. is a there is a lot of scuttlebug, and I just want to make sure that I understand. Okay, thank you. Yeah, people are throwing a lot of different things ar around of, of, you know, do, do you, does Rollinsford contract the service out? Do you shrink the SAU and keep it? Do you um, have an, a, a district administrator position? Um, do you contract services back to Summersworth? Um, does Summersworth pull out and make their own? I mean, there's a lot of different scenarios, and it's up to the withdrawal committees to look at all of those. Together and separate. Together. Separate and together. Separate and together. <laughs> <laughs> However you want to word that, but yes. yeah, okay. It is a bit confusing. Just <laughs> well, there's a lot of stuff going on, and I just want to make sure that we understand that for us to really have a, a, a say and an impact mm -hmm. in what we're doing and what we're doing, it needs to pass on that. That warrant needs to pass. Um, to optimize your choices, yes. Okay. Thank you. In my opinion. Mine too. Nancy Dion. Um, I believe when we were reading all of the information too, Summersworth has to actually come to Rollinsford for a public hearing, correct? Both withdrawal correct. committees need to have public hearings in the in the all of the districts that they affect. So yes. Okay. And and we would and we would have to our Withdrawal committee would have mm -hmm. to go to Summersworth as well. Okay. Yes. That's that parallel universe that's been going on, yeah. We've, we've been down this road. Any other comments from visitors? All right, thank you very much. Closing comments from board members. I have one thing I think maybe I should have spoke up during, spoken up during uh, old business. Is that what the community connection? Oh, I'd love to hear about community. Okay. Um, you might recall a while ago some um, sixth graders interviewed our new administrators um, and they got some very interesting responses from Dr. Godomsky, Mr. Hufford, and Ms. Allison. Those interviews are now up on uh, the school board website under school district notices. It's kind of hard to find, so I made a bitly um, if you want to check. It's bit.ly slash school board FAQ. And we'll send that link out probably with some of our other Excellent. informational uh, items over the next couple months. But they are excellent. Yeah, yeah, excellent. I got a chance to read them before they got published, and they were excellent. They did a nice job. The kids, the kids did a great job. job. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. And you could tell the adults were enjoying it too with some of their answers. <laughs> <laughs> it was very good. Thank you. Any other uh, comments by board members? We do have a, a little bit of uh, non-public, so we'll go into it. That's the one that's under uh, negotiations. So, yeah. motion by Emily, second by Emily. They didn't roll call, but that's all right. Mm -hmm. Judy Nelson, yep. Tom. Mm -hmm.